Hey everyone, Dave with the Spill Proof Podcast. Just want to let you know, we are still going to be posting our podcast episodes up on our YouTube channel, uh, but we're going to be doing it a little bit differently. Instead of putting the full episode on there, uh, what we're going to do is put small snippets of it, uh, maybe some of the highlights, things like that. And then if you like what you heard, uh, you can check us out where our podcast can be found. So right now, our podcast can be found at Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Amazon Music, iHeartRadio, and Pandora. So if you like what you heard, check us out, Spill Proof Podcast. Uh, you can write to us at spillproofpodcast at gmail. Uh, we love to hear your feedback or uh, throw some uh, stuff in the comments. Thanks, and thanks for listening. This year we were like, okay, we, we feel pretty good. The adults are vaccinated. Mm-hmm. Um, some of the kids were vaccinated. Say, the it's kids like the are. kids who could be were vaccinated pretty much. And... Um, we were like, yeah, let's let's do this. And um, one of the family members, it was going to be a bigger group this year too. Mm-hmm. And one of the family members was like, you know, I still feel a little bit uncomfortable. So can everyone take an at-home COVID test the day before mm-hmm. just to like, you know, make sure we're safe. Let's like, you know, let's, let's play it safe. Yeah. Let's do the right thing. And yeah. we were totally down, totally supportive. We were actually like, we probably should have thought of that with our kids yeah, not we being were able like, to be vaccinated. Right? Yeah. So we were like, why didn't we think of that? This is such a great idea. It, such a great idea. <laughs> Spoiler <laughs> alert. It wasn't great. It wasn't great. And I'm sure, I'm sure that like at home COVID tests are correct 85% of the time. Supposedly. <laughs> at the time, the data said that mm. at home COVID tests we're not taking into account for brand or how you do it. Time, or, yeah, so you can see um, where this is going. Yeah, it was, but we were totally down. We were totally supportive. We have felt really uncomfortable mm-hmm. at certain times, and like have always appreciated well, when family members and, were like, and "Honestly, we, we I got think you." Everybody has their own uh, threshold for what seems safe, and mm-hmm. it causes double standards and, yeah. and all sorts of like crazy stuff. But honestly. This seemed like a very universal thing, you know. Yeah, absolutely. And, and and we weren't even. It was more of a precautionary thing. Like most at home tests, if you've taken an at home test, they've got two, uh, two tests. So mm-hmm. you do one, and then I think was it two or three days later you're supposed you're to take sp- another. Like within forty eight hours, you're supposed to do another. So this is yeah. like after you've traveled. Yeah, this is if you like, think that you actually have COVID. Yeah, and I know like right now they do recommend before a bigger gathering, like technically the CDC recommends before mm-hmm. a bigger gathering to like, hey, just do it the day of to make sure you're good, whatever. Yeah. Um, so yeah. we, we, we what we did is they're very expensive. They're about 25 bucks a piece, give mm-hmm. or take, you know, five bucks. And again, there's two tests in there. You're supposed to take one and then three days later take another. So what we did is we broke them up and we decided to just do... One, one each. test each. Yeah, there's you four know, of us in our again, house. Again, none of us had symptoms. No none symptoms. of us was sick. We were good. And that daycare eight, had been good. Yeah, no, no, nothing reported at daycare. And I think there's only been a couple since the beginning of. There's been like two since yeah. the beginning yeah, yeah, at daycare. Honestly, yeah, daycare has been fantastic. I can't speak enough about that. But, um, so we took the tests and we broke them up into individual. And that eighty five percent is for 85% positivity. Fall off an 85% that it's, th- that the test is correct, correct when it gives you a positive. Correct. What it doesn't cover is if you're negative. You no, know, when it's negative, it's like 98% correct or something. Well, I guess we're just really lucky then. No, well, it's 85% if it's positive it's 85, like it gets it right 85% of the time. Mm-hmm. And then a false positive is 15% of the time. Right. But the negative number was different. If yeah. You're, if, if you're, you're negative, if you get the rate a negative, of error is different. yeah, it's much less. The rate of error is much less. Your chair is so squeaky. Is that me? Yeah. Your chair is so squeaky. Well, where's the other chair? It's behind you. All right. Let me get the other chair. Okay. I thought that was you. No. I stopped moving to see if it was me. (laughs) (laughs) That one's horrible. It's like about to fall apart, it sounds like. I think it just needs to be uh, tightened. (laughs) (laughs) I thought it was you. (laughs)
<laughs> I literally stopped breathing to see if it was me <laughs> and it was you. I was like, <laughs> uh, well, it's going to be a lot of squeaking at the beginning of this podcast. Sorry, everyone. Dave changed his chair because it was so squeaky. Yes. Might just leave this in. I don't yeah. know. Like I said, we're trying to get this out tomorrow. So yeah. the l- lack of editing might. Yeah, that That's might be okay. left in. So. Squeaky chair. It's when. Okay. So cut back to is Wednesday around um, lunch. Mm-hmm. And I'm like. Because we thought that'd be a great time. Yeah. We're like, we're all together. Dave and I are both having lunch with the kids. Again, we're, we're all. We're both work from home in case nobody was caught up on that. Now. Yes. We're both work from home. So, um, you know, we're like. Let's let's do this. So we have two COVID tests, four tests within the two COVID tests, mm-hmm. four nostril tests, and like we each get one. There's four of us. So I think Emmy and I go first. Mm-hmm. The girls go first. We're negative. We're good. Mm-hmm. But okay, so for those who haven't taken one. Yeah, you go through this and explain it's the It's like tests. a pregnancy test, right? Where like they tell you that like if there are if there's like there's the obviously the control line, but the test line if there's any line at all it's positive and so like when you're trying to get pregnant you're like hoping for that line and sometimes you like manifest a line there that isn't there and in this like instance I was so worried irrationally because none of us had symptoms that it was going to be um positive that I was like looking for that you know that line, any, right? Like any line, doesn't matter. A- anything is positive. So Emmy and I are like solid negatives. Then we do Owen and I'm panicking. I'm like, I think I see a line. I think I see a line. And I look at it and there's no line. Yeah. My mom looks at it. She was here. There was no line. You, If you squint really hard sideways and then like draw a line on it, there might've been a line. But, but it was one of those things where I was like, I think, like even I admitted, mm. I was like, I think I'm making it up in my head. Yeah. So three, at this point, we were like three negatives. Mm. Dave is last. We were, we're like, we're good. Yeah. Right? Like, none of us have symptoms. We're mm-hmm. good. This is just a precautionary Again, yeah, thing. No, nobody had any symptoms. We no, didn't we have any fine. reason to take these it's tests. It's honestly the first other time than in like months that we've all been symptom. Well, we have not had COVID, but like our kids have had everything else. RSV, right? colds. RSV, just like colds, like daycare viruses. Yeah. Which each time having to get a COVID test. Right? Like. Like our son, they can't go like, back to daycare. Yeah, our son has gotten tested over ten times. We counted. It's out of control because you know you can't go back until you get tested. Out of control. Right. Thanks for listening to the snippet of this episode. Full episodes can be found on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Amazon Music, iHeartRadio, and Pandora. As always, we love feedback. Throw it in the comments or write to us at spillproofpodcast at gmail.com. Thanks for listening.